My name is Gwen Meyer. And first, I'd like to thank you for not having teleprompters in front of you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and I do concur with most of the things that have been said here. Um, I want to know how we can help you as far as uh, defending the Obamacare and also securing the border before anything is done with immigration. I think that is very, very important to us as well. Great. Okay, so, so Gwen uh, has asked us, uh, has asked me about uh, defunding Obamacare and securing the border. Uh, let's talk about the border first and then I'll move over to Obamacare funding. Um, I don't think I anyone really disputes the fact that uh, we need some kind of immigration reform in the sense that our immigration code is outdated uh, and it needs an overhaul. What we have in place is a system that makes legal immigration really expensive, really time consuming, really difficult, and at best uncertain. Uh, there are people who have been waiting outside the United States trying to get in legally, in some cases literally for decades. Uh, Congressman Chaffetz is helping a woman in the Philippines who has been trying to immigrate to this country legally for 34 years. By contrast, we have a system that has made illegal immigration uh, relatively easy, inexpensive, and unlikely to result in apprehension or penalty. And we, we've got to turn that around. We, we've got to completely reverse that. Uh, the problem we have is that um, there are those who are part of the political establishment in Washington who are saying that we can't fix either the border security problem or the visa modernization problem unless we also tie in together a virtually certain, virtually automatic pathway, not just to legalization, but to citizenship. So they're saying we've got to throw in the single most controversial thing or else they're not going to do any of it. And that's, that's wrong. And so that's why I voted against it. That's why I worked uh, for many months this year to defeat it. Uh, but before you applaud too much, I, I failed to defeat it uh, in the Senate. Unfortunately, there were far too many, far too many in my own political party and basically everyone on the other side of the aisle who voted for it. This was stunning because this may surprise you, but you know, we, we, we worked for several months with a 1,000 page bill prepared by the Gang of Eight. Months, we spent months on it. I, I, I and my team uh, worked through it uh, just very, very thoroughly. I, I introduced dozens of amendments to it in committee. We spent weeks on committee markup. It gets to the floor. The day before the first floor vote, guess what happens? They swapped it out, replaced a 1,000 page bill with another 1,200 page bill. The voting started the next day. Most of them voted for it without ever having read it. Terribly frustrating. Yet another reason why it needs to die a quick death in the House. And then we can move on to step-by-step -step fair immigration reform. How can we help? You know, a, a, a lot of this business of um, participatory government just requires us to participate and to participate actively. And uh, there, there is no easy way uh, to do it other than making a whole lot of phone calls, sending a whole lot of emails, and a whole lot of letters to your senators and your congressmen. You bet it works. Most, most politicians will tell you it doesn't work because somehow I, they think that that makes them sound weak if they suggest that it works. It works. It works. It helps a lot. But don't just do this yourself. Talk to your friends and your neighbors and your family members. And then I need your help on defunding Obamacare too. I, I really need your help on that. And, and here's how you can help me on that. First of all, you can go to my website at lee.senate.gov where you can sign a petition. A petition that says, please, uh, keep the rest of government funding, but don't fund Obamacare. The other thing you can help me do is I need you to help communicate a message. A message to defeat a false narrative based on an absolute lie that has been perpetuated by the political ruling class elite in Washington, D.C. that's been dutifully reported by an all too willing to comply media. And that lie is that the, the effort 
to avoid funding Obamacare is an effort to shut down the government. It's a darned lie, and I reject it. Let me ex explain briefly why it's a lie. It's a lie because I've never called for a shutdown. I've never asked for a shutdown. We don't need a shutdown. We don't want a shutdown. In fact, the whole reason I'm bringing this forward is to avoid a shutdown. What I'm saying is we can keep everything else in government funded. And I'm willing to fund everything else in government, even programs that I dislike at current levels if it means I can avoid having to vote to fund Obamacare. What I'm saying is we ought to be having dozens of votes on government funding for reasons that, that astound me and, and, and uh, frankly disgust me. We have focused all of our votes on spending to one vote. So what they're telling us is if you don't want to vote to fund Obamacare, then you're going to have to vote against funding our military. Our soldiers and our sailors won't get paid. That's wrong. What I'm saying is I want at least two votes, a bare minimum of two votes, one vote to fund everything else in government, one vote to vote for, to fund Obamacare. And what I'm saying is if Obamacare can't stand and get funded on its own merits, on its own two legs, it does not deserve to be funded. 